In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called palindrome linked list. So given a singly linked list, de determine if it is a palindrome. So here you can see we have a linked list, right? So one and two, and return is false because palindrome is a version or is a list of um, nodes where if we reverse it, it's going to be identical, right? So the values is going to be identical if we reverse the list. So in this case, if we reverse this list, it's going to be 2, 1. And 2, 1 is different than 1, 2. So in this case, we're going to return false. And here, same thing. We, if we reverse this list, it will give us uh, 1, 2, 2, 1, which is the same. So we're going to return true. So again, that will be the solution, right? If we um, just reverse the linked list and basically check each and every single node to see if their value is the same, then we can do that. But the other way we can do this is we can uh, try to solve this in a constant space complexity, right? So in this case, if we were to solve this in a constant space complexity, what we're going to do is we're going to have a slow pointer and a fast pointer. Just like how we did it in the linkless cycle uh, legal problem, we're just going to have a slow pointer and a fast pointer. The slow pointer uh, is going to be traversing one node at a time, and the fast pointer is going to traverse two, node, two nodes at a time. And the goal is we want to make the slow and the fast pointer slow pointer move to the middle of the link list while the fast pointer is going to get to the end of the link list then once we get the slow pointer to the to the to the middle of the link list so for example if slow is starting at the head the fast is going to start at the head as well so when the slow pointer is moved here the fast pointer is already here right um, let's just do it this way so we have a slow pointer here the fast pointer is here so the slow pointer is going to move one at a time. The fast pointer is going to move to here, two at a time. And the slow pointer move to here. The fast pointer is going to be right here. It's going to be null. So once the slow pointer, right, this is the slow pointer. Once we have a slow pointer in the middle of the link list, what we're going to do is we're going to reverse the half of the link list. In this case, if we were to reverse the half of the link list, we will have one, two, one, two, right? So in this case, we're going to have one here and two here. So once we reverse the half of the link list, what we're going to do is we're going to get the other pointers, right? We're going to create another pointer that points to the head node of the link list. In this case, it's going to be one, right? So we're going to have one here. We Remember, we're reversing the, the last half of the link list, right? Then we're going to have uh, one pointer points to the, the head node of the last half of the link list or the middle, uh, the middle node of the link list. And the other pointer is going to point to the first node of the link list. Then what we're going to do is we're going to see traverse to see if each and every single node it, uh, its value is equal to each other. Right? We want, to, we want to know if this node's value is equal to this node's value. If it is, we're going to move the two pointers one to the right until we get the the this pointer right here uh, reach to null. We're going to return true. Otherwise, if we uh, found that the two nodes' values does not equal to each other, then we can just return false. So now let's take a look at how we can do this in code. So to do this in code, first we're gonna define our base case, right? So if there is a situation where we have the node is null, right? Or uh, node.nest um, in this case is, is um, yeah, so if there's uh, node.head.nest actually is equal to null, we can just return true, right? Because null in this case is also equal to true, right? So once we have our base case, what we're going to do is we're going to define our slow and so define slow and fast pointers. So we're going to move slow and fast pointers in the right position, right? Then once we get them in the right position, we're going to start to reverse uh, reverse the uh, the uh, the last half of the list. So once we reverse the last half of the list. What we're going to do is we're going to compare. We're going to have a left pointer and the right pointer. The left pointer is going to equal to the head node, which is this node right here. The right pointer is going to equal to the to the head node of the last half of the link list. Um, after we reverse the link list, of course. So we're going to compare. Basically, we compare. Uh, we check if it is palindrome. Right at the end, we're going to decide if. Is a palindrome or not, right? So let's first fill them out. So first, we're going to see if the head is null or head.nest is null. So head, if head is null or head.nest 
is null, we can safe say that we can return true, right? And uh, then we're going to define our slow pointer, slow, which is equal to um, head, and uh, fast is also equal to head. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to move them in the correct position before we reverse the last half of the link list. So then we're going to have slow, right? So while so while slow, sorry, while fast does not equal null, and uh, fast dot nest does not equal null, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to start to move them um, in different speeds. So we're going to say slow is equal to slow dot nest and fast is equal to fast dot nest dot nest right because we're moving fast two times faster than the slow so once we move them in the correct position we're going to reverse link reverse the last half of link list and currently the head node is going to be the node that the slow pointer is pointing to so we're going to have a pointers so in this case we're going to have p1 or the left pointer which is equal to head and uh, we're going to have another pointer, which is the right pointer, which is equal to the head node of the last half of length list. After we reverse, of course, so it's going to be reverse. We pass in the slow. Right. And then once we have the left and the right, we're going to check to see if it's a, if it's a palindrome. So while right does not equal to null. Right. We're going to get we're going to see if left dot value is equal to right dot value. If it is, then we're going to continue. Otherwise, we're going to return false. And when I say continue, uh, one second. So when I say continue, what we're going to do is we're going to, um, what I mean by that is basically getting left is equal to left dot nest and right is equal to right dot nest. At the end, if everything went well, we're going to return true. Okay. So now let's try to implement this reverse method, right? So in this case, we're going to have a private um, very, uh, method which returns the list node. So reverse it takes the list node, the head, and we're going to start to reverse it, right? So to reverse link list, we know how to do that already. And uh, basically, we're going to changing the direction of where each nodes are pointing to. So we're going to first define our base case, right? So we are, our base case is that if the head, so uh, if head is null or head.ness is null, then we can just return head. Otherwise, we're going to start to reverse. So reverse. So if head is equal to null or head.nest is equal to null, we can just return head. Now, once we have our base case here, then we're going to start to reverse. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a uh, previous pointer, which is going to points to null, right? And uh, we're going to have a current pointer, which is going to points to the head. So while current does not equal null, right? What we're going to do is we're going to get um, we're going to get the uh, the current dot nest, right? is save it into a variable which is called temp which is going to be current.nest and we're going to get current.nest is equal to pre right and this initially is going to be null uh, previous note is equal to current sorry and we're going to get current is equal to temp right and at the end we're returning pre because in this case current is null right after the loop we're going to get current is equal to null then our job is done. So now let's try to run the code and try to run it with a few more examples. Okay, let's try to submit. Okay, so here you see we have our success. So this is how we solve um, this uh, Lee code uh, palindrome link list problem.